Today we are going to Sydney Airport. Why? We're traveling with Emirates on board Economy and Business all the way to Dubai International Airport. So, without further ado, let's go to Sydney Airport. Hi everyone, welcome back to Kimby Australia. I'm here at Sydney Airport and we're just about to get in. This is our 1000 subscriber special. Thank you everyone. Crazy, I just found out. The airport seems closed. I try to go into the door, but it's closed. And it says on the website that it closes from 11 p.m. to 2.30 a.m. When check-in is supposed to open at 2. So that's a bit disappointing. Welcome back, and it's 2.30 a.m. sharp, and we just entered. Now, I'm going to Emirates Premium Economy check-in desk, and we're just about to check in for this wonderful adventure. The line was pretty long despite, although it was already 2.30. I was one of the first passengers. Just checked in our bags, put it onto the carousel, and we we're just about to go to security. Okay, so I checked in, but now I have to wait until 4 a.m. to get through immigration security. So just here around the food court. After 4 a.m., we are almost ready. Now we're going to the prison and a first class check in. After security, it was quite brisk. Now we're just going to head up to the gate and check out some shops very briskly today because we want to spend more time on board. Got some nice duty free, some exchange shops, very quiet at Sydney Airport. Uh, well, then usually we've got the clubhouse and uh, we're just walking towards the gate. Welcome to gate 57. Currently it's uh, 5 a.m. and this boarding is going to start in about half an hour. We just have here our small plane, uh, Etihad 8350, which is departing, or Boeing 787 departing to Abu Dhabi. But that's not our plane today because we have bought a 380. Boarding just started, and I'm the first passenger to speed across the jet bridge all the way to the door. Pretty quiet, as you can see. We're almost for the boarding, and uh, this is an A380 quadruple jet which means it's a very big aircraft, it's a lot of people you could see some of the um, airplane views weren't that great because uh, of the many commotion and the lights so, so I apologize on for that and uh, hopefully the rest of the video will be very great and thank you everyone Yep, it's a day <laughs> It's a large cabin with about 500 seats. Now I'll just greet it again to show it to my seat. I'm almost to the back of the plane. Uh, window seat 65k. Now that's quite a good seat and there's quite a the plane and we're almost ready for the morning, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome aboard this flight to Dubai today in partnership with Qantas. We would also like to extend a warm welcome back to our Emirates Towers and Qantas frequent flying members. Our multinational cabin crew for today come from
adjusted by pulling the strap. Lift the metal flat to unfasten. We recommend wearing your seatbelt at all times throughout the flight and securing it over your blanket when sleeping, so if needed, you won't have to disturb you. It is illegal to smoke on board, including using or charging electronic smoking devices. All toilets have smoke detectors. After a pushback, now we are just ready to depart. And um, it's great, great sunny morning, uh, morning and uh, we're just speedy taxi to the runway here we are just at the runway and we're ready to depart enjoy the starting takeoff climbing about Sydney. There was a long time until we could unpass the seatbelt. Now food service has started. Today we have some uh, sausages, some uh, scrambled eggs, uh, some spinach. It was a great meal. Really liked it. And there's some place to eat some fresh fruit, some yogurt. bathrooms and check out the bathrooms pretty simple but elegant design with some nice golden flakes obviously the bathroom we have uh, the emergency exit and that's basically for the bathroom uh quite spacious actually they actually gave our uh, you'll see next we had some polaroid pictures which was really nice touch to the economy experience and soon we're going to the business class area so that will be exciting See a little picture of me and uh, that was actually quite nice to, for the passengers. Alright, so on to the IPE system. There we have so many games for kids, board games, really thousands of things to see. We have a lot of music from all kinds of different countries and different genres. We have a lot of TV shows, a lot of different kids for adults, a lot of movies, adults are plus and all kinds of movies you can see. It's really all ages friendly. It's all categorized really nicely, easy to use, very responsible. And now uh, we have Wi-Fi we can use which is had to pay but that's a different story. Now I think one of my favorite features is the place when I was on the map and uh, today's flight we could actually see the uh, plane view cameras which was really nice and um, those. Next, we're going to be showing the in-flight uh, seat controls. We could see on the screen you had some like, glass and some uh, off button. Had a in-flight magazine, which was nice. And this was the amenities you can provide. It was kind of like a traditional um, pattern, which was nice, like fire, stone, nice star sky. And now it's already time for the second meal service. Now there was more selection of food and drink. And uh, we had some asparagus, I'm oh, sorry, green peas, meats, and some potato potatoes. That's the in-flight safety card for the A380. Something interesting. 
is basically the seat features now. Uh, of course, safety card, have some ports, the seat goes back, like that. Tray table. Now they offered some coffee and tea, some snacks you could get at the back of the plane, which is quite nice. Time lapse. Uh, for the final meal service, we had a chicken leek casserole, which was nice, with some coffee hot selection, and it's almost time to land. Now, welcome to the business class cabin. Now, this is the onboard bar, some little decorations, and this is the business class cabin. I was so lucky to be invited to the business class cabin and to sit there for a little bit to record and have a look at it. Uh, it was really nice, bigger space, more comfortable, life like that. So, uh, there was some, they gave me some water, some little snack, and these are the seat controls. See some movies, it was really nice, uh, more spacious, more comfortable, of course, in the economy, but I think it was. Uh, really a good business class product. There was a second a secondary screen, a lot of ample storage space. Now we're back to reality, and uh, and now we are ready almost for landing. You can see on the map we're almost ready for landing, and it's been great. It's been a great flight, but we're not over yet. We should be starting our descent to approach our landing in another twenty minutes. We estimate landing Dubai in another 55. Welcome to Dubai International Airport, where I'll be there for the next two weeks. First one off onto the jet bridge. It was very beautiful views of. You can see another Boeing Triple Seven Airbus A three eighty. Just opposite. This is the, really the hub for everything. Welcome to Dubai International Airport. Local time is about one thirty p.m. and it was really easy to navigate. There were a lot of people, very new, and there was a lift to baggage reclaim. Very high tech compared to my previous uh, airport encounter which was a uh, Fiji, you can check that video in the description. After that, there was a train to go to the baggage reclaim, which is very interesting. Similar to an experience I had at uh, Shanghai International Airport. And uh, there was a little bit of walk into the connections. And after security, this is basically the baggage reclaim, very nice airport. And we're almost done with today's video. Without that, we're here. And thank you so much for watching and we'll see you next time. And I'll say the proper welcome. Bye bye. Uh, thanks so much for watching, and we'll see you next time.